Hello, um, this is my newest YouTube video. I just want to touch base with um, people who care about me as a human being. And I wanted to let you guys know that recently I have been diagnosed with bipolar, um, with psychosis. So I guess um, I need medication and I've been put on some medication recently to help me deal with all of this. And I feel like the medication has really helped me, like, a lot. So I kind of want to talk about why I think Cam is, like, a bad job. And not to say, like, anyone doing it is a bad person. I'm not trying to say that or judge you. I'm just trying to let you know that this is, like, my experience and what happened. And you can take it for what it is and use it to make your life better. Or you can hate me. I don't really care either way. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. So, um, first things first is when I was camming, I was making, um, let's see, I was making about three grand every month by myself, living on my own. The place where I live, um, which is Welland, Ontario, basically doesn't have a lot of jobs. So the reason I was doing that job is because there was no normal jobs to do that I could do without being able to not afford anything. So that's personally why I did cam is not because I'm a slut or because I like selling my body. It's because I needed a job. So if that is sexy, I don't know what is because it doesn't seem sexy if someone's doing a job that they don't like to do because they have nowhere to live. That's fucked up. And my free cams takes advantage of people. They take half of what you make. I probably made a lot of money working for them. If I was making three grand a month, I did it for three years. So you can do the math and figure out how much money I was giving to them because they would take half of that three grand. I never got the full three grand. <laughs> it was only half. So um, there's a lot of models that do well in this industry and I just think that no matter how much money you make, you're never actually going to be happy. There's a lot of reasons why I think that, and I will let you know right now. I wrote it down because that's how I'd roll. So, I just want to make this video to change your mindset regarding the online prostitution and selling your body for your... You're, you're selling your body and you're selling your personality for money. Um, I recently watched a good movie called Red Sparrow, and it basically said... The most, um, like, we have our guard down the most when we're naked, so you kind of get in this mindset that if I'm hurting myself, I want to hurt other people, and, like, I really felt like that for a long time, and I would call people losers and call people skids because I was just making fun of the people that came in my room because I was pissed off. I didn't want to be doing that for a living, and behind closed doors, I made fun of a lot of people. I'm just being honest. I know, I'm harsh. I'm harsh, I know. Okay, so this is the shit that I wrote down. Because I'm trying to be serious here. I have papers. I came to the library to talk about this because I want to be taken seriously. Like, my fucking clothes are on now. So, my mouth is going to still flap. Because that's what I really liked about Cam, was talking to people. And anyone who came and hung out in my room would know this. Um, and I'm not trying to make the guys who come in my room feel bad either but can you imagine if this was your daughter doing the cam for a living and then tell me that you think it's a good job okay if you have a daughter or a sister would you want them doing this for a living with their body probably not unless you're an asshole in which case whatever i don't care about your fucking opinion anyway um so to be naked is to have your defenses stripped so you're easier to torture um just keep that in mind when thinking about my free cams as a savior and helping people become not homeless anymore and all the shit that they spear out when really they take half of our money and use it to buy clothes and the clothes don't go to people that are fucking hurting they go to the models which means they think the models don't or can't afford clothes that is fucked up to me so with cam there's no job stability you, you could lose your job at any time if you get hurt if you are sick no one's gonna pay your your rent for you right um there's no benefits so again if you get sick or you break your arm or something like that even in the states okay so in the states it'd be way worse in canada we have a little bit of free health care but 
even an ambulance ride still costs money for me. Um, okay, and then there's the stigma that goes with it, meaning you have no friends. And when you're a cam girl, you're stuck in your apartment 24-7 thinking about ways to sell your body that are going to seem like better ways than the night before. So you're constantly having to one-up yourself, which is really hard to do. Eventually, you hit a peak where you've done everything, and then what's left? Spiraling down. So you have stigma, no one likes you. Fuck, I did cam. And I was one of you girls, and no one liked me still, so... <laughs> Imagine how people who don't sell sex, sex for a living feel. And then you have your isolation of your friends and your family. Like, no one's going to understand why you're doing this. Because you could get a normal job. Which, as I explained in the beginning, there is no normal jobs in the town that I live. So it's really hard to make a living. I now live at home with my parents again. Because I couldn't afford to have an apartment not selling my body. But you know what? I'm fucking happier than I was selling my body having all this shit. I'm just telling this to people as like... I don't really have a lot of people to talk to because I put myself in this cam box. Now I have no friends. No one wants to be friends with me because of what I did for a living. So now I'm just going to be a pain in the ass and talk about it. And also I have a mental illness. So this is a good way for me to vent and just get my, get my feelings out there. So mental illness. I feel like cam helped contribute to depression from isolation and selling your body i had psychosis of delusions of grandeur thinking that i was going to make all this money selling my body and be able to travel all over the world and i did get to travel i got to go to la montreal new york and i'm so happy i got to go i'm so happy that when i went i took my camera so i could do photography at the same time so in my mind i didn't just go to sell my body i went to go do other things that i like too which is photography Another thing that it, it really contributed to a lot was drug and alcohol use. Like, I had to be fucked up all the time to want to do that job. Like, I was getting drunk, getting high on pills, anything to get me feeling like I'm the shit. Because <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to stay in, like, that sexy mind state all the time. And I was, of course, addicted to money, and it was fueling sex addicts. So, me doing my job was actually probably destroying someone else's world. I just couldn't see it. Same, same with the members that came into my room. We're almost the same, you know. The members are lonely and the cam girl gets lonely too because she's alone all the fucking time because you're scared to go anywhere. Because people are going to know you as that sexy girl. And it's like, I still have to deal with that stigma when I go places that they're like, oh, I've seen your videos and I have to act like, yeah, I know you did. Wicked. you seen my naked body. Cool. Cool. I'm not like that anymore, so it pisses me off, right? But it's a choice that I made, and it's a choice that I'm going to have to stick by for the rest of my fucking life every time someone recognizes that I did that for a living. I'm not going to lie about it. And the third thing is that religion. Um, religion is a big part. I'm not religious. I, don't, I haven't even read the Bible before. But looking at religion in context to like what I did for a living, it makes me feel guilty, and it wanted me like I wanted to change really bad. Um, personally right now I'm just exploring Judaism and Christianity and reading um, and taking bits from it so I'm not really taking it too hard because I mean like I, what I did for a living if I was really Christian I'd just be burning in hell right but that's not fair I feel like my mental illness helped me do that job for a living because now that I'm on medication I don't even want to do that for a living anymore I'd rather be broke um, does the cost of being a cam girl justify the reason for being? No one, no being does not justify itself. Jordan Peterson on the necessity of virtue. That's a really good video that I would tell you to go watch. I love Jordan Peterson. He's been making me so happy. A lot of this stuff that I'm talking about is because of, because of Jordan Peterson. And I'm just going to end with uh, a couple of things that I'd like to say. What... These are questions um, asked by Carl Yoon, who is a psychologist. What am I willing to do so that I spontaneously pursue it? What am I interested in and why? Why do I procrastinate? What am I willing to do and what am I unwilling to do? What do I think is good? What do I uh, congratulate myself for accomplishing? What do I berate myself for, for failing and to confront and to implement? Another word that I really liked and thought was super cool was implacable. It's freezing out here. I live in Canada. It's implacable. 
Um, and that's someone who says no when they need to. Don't avoid necessary conflict, which is what I'm doing right now. This is going to start people's messaging me and hating on me because I was a cam girl. And now I think that you shouldn't do it for a living. Hey, if you want to sell your fucking body for a living, keep doing it. But for the girls who feel trapped like I did, this is what this video is for. So I'm, I'm constantly trying to challenge myself, set humble improvements, take responsibility of yourself. Hi, hello. Um, small improvements. Allow yourself to be a fool. And don't be too proud of who you think you are to notice what you're like so that you can change properly. Observe yourself like you don't know who you are. And I'm going to leave it on that because it's freezing and i got to walk home still. But I'm going to post this video today. And I'm going to post one video of some poems that I wrote. It's just, I'm bored and I have nothing else to do. So if you don't like watching these videos, then feel free to dislike the video but if you like what I'm saying leave some comments for me and hit that like button subscribe to me and I will be back to just chat your ear off have a good day